What's up Starcross fans? You are watching a co-op mutation. I am CTG and we are doing retribution on missed opportunities. I am playing this time as Karax. My masteries were combat unit resource cost, repair beam healing rate, and spear vadoon energy. Let's get into the replay. My ally was uh, Maltiki who played as Stukov so he's gonna have an easy time. Thank you to Zachary who is supporting me on the mobilization wave tier. Thank you to Neometal who is supporting me on the Pulse Cadence tier and thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. You are literal gods tasteless. Did I, sp did I pronounce that right this time? <laughs> Alright, let's try not to mess up some more things. The mutators are Void Rifts and Double Edged. Two tough ones, I have to say. Especially for certain commanders. Good luck to my ally. Let's show up the production tab. So for those who don't know, Void Rifts, most of you probably already know, Void Rifts spawn around the map every 90 seconds, starting from 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Hi, commanders. And those I Void Rifts spawn enemy here. units. Are the only I've had. I guess that's for you. And double-edged will make our units bots. receive the damage they deal. And you can, as you can see, I'm a... Uh, Telling my ally, <laughs> and ba basically ordering my ally around since uh, I will need vision as Karax. I have this energy saved up so I can snipe the first few void rifts, and he can deal with the rest. But it's important that I have vision of the ones that he does see. So as you may have uh, gleaned from my masteries, I like that word. I should use that more often. As you may have seen from my masteries. I'm going for a unit Karax composition. I'm not going to go for a static defense since, uh, well, I need to get to the enemy and clear out buildings and attack waves. I mean, you can't just rely on Stukov, but where's the fun in that? Anyway, the first Void Rifts will appear on 2 minutes and 20 seconds, so I will need to send a probe out and get vision. I've started a forge. So I can build cadence eventually. I also start a pile on here, so I won't get supply blocked and later and at the same time uh, get power get power field get a power field for my cadence. Oh, there it is! Lucky spawn. Five shots will destroy a void rift. There it is. Five shots there as well. I was fortunate that uh, those void rifts spawned where they did. Well. I can say fortunate. It was really uh, we rolled until we got a good comp a good uh, a good spawn of the first void. Or sometimes sometimes they spawn far. In the first eight minutes, I believe they spawn relatively close to your base, up to ninety distance. I believe the enemy reaches to but all the rifts after but all the rifts after that can spawn anywhere on the map as long as there aren't uh, concentrated enemy units. So they can spawn literally at the corners. As long as there, there's uh, ground pathing. I build a pylon at the ally side in case uh, we need in case we need vision here for the next set of void rifts, which will appear in five seconds approximately. I start my twilight council and I start my uh, very lucky spawn. Very lucky spawn. So my ally is sending a apocalypse there. I can help him out, but I don't suppose I need to that much since we the Apocalypse can destroy the uh, the Void Rifts by himself or by itself. So I start a couple of cadence at my expansion since I already spent most of my, my energy for on sniping Void Rifts. In, in fact, I will still spend the next energy in sniping Void Rifts at 5 minutes and 10 seconds. Or 20 seconds rather, 5 minutes and 20 seconds. Sending a bot to collect the geysers terrorism. Getting the repair beam. This will benefit me and my allies since we both have mechanical units. Ally is sending his dudes to clear out that zealot. I I think he made those. Did he make those? Yeah, I believe he made those out of the barracks since he does not have he does not have a bunker yet. Been fortunate. I let my ally know that Cornabus is ready. So he can start preparing his upgrades. You can see he did start ruling gestation. So I think he is ready. And I have started Solar Efficiency Level 2, and then activate Chrono Boost. Okay, I use this probe here to get vision. Now that vision is here, I snipe it with 5 Orbital Strikes. 
allies trying to go for that, I think. Try to uh, snipe that Void Rift. <laughs> a little bit more. Not quite enough. A successful Terrazine harvest. Now that bot just has to make it My allies forced to use Alexander there, is which is fine. He'll want to use that anyway to clear out the enemy base. Allied forces are under attack. As you can see, the double-edged does affect my does affect my static defense, even when they kill the rocks. See this? They take damage. They take damage back when they deal damage to the rocks, and that's how that's how uh, double-edged works. My, al my allies also tried to take his expansion. Snipe that. And also snipe this. Good. Good spawns of the Void Rifts, or maybe we just we just have good coverage. Come to think of it, we do have good coverage. Vision here, vision here. Well, I have an expansion here, so I can easily run a probe there if I must. So good job of Alec clearing out the next area. That is important, so that the chances of Void Rift spawning there are higher. Place down cannons. And shield batteries, since I, even though I will go for units, I do have some excess minerals, so I might as well. I use a purifier beam. Destroy this base. Get rid of the void race. So we'll have an easier time later on. I send the purifier beam up north, since I'm um, ally. I was already taking care of that. So I might as well do some damage where I can. So I've started saturating my expansion. And I've started a Phoenix or a Mirage. I've started a Mirage since a Mirage can move relatively fast and can get the vision quickly. I will go for carriers, but the first thing I go I went for is a Mirage or as I like to call it, a my a my rage. <laughs> All right, destroyed that. Allied forces are under attack. So as you can see, I sent my my rage there, <laughs> my my rage up north. To get vision. Does have its strength, you to get vision of that Void Rift. You can see. There it is. It's a kamikaze mission, attack. but it did serve its purpose. Destroy this, uh. This clump of units here. I am bleeding energy, but. Man, the race is on. Which I do believe it's worth it. Me first? My money's on Gary. He always gets the best oil. Start Kerner Boost. And they start a carrier. Bots are under attack. My bots are under attack. Oh, immortals. Uh oh. That's a lot of immortals, which uh, Stukov's bunkers don't handle well. Oh boy. This is a bit of a rough spot here. We have two more voiders spawning. Or two more voiders active. I right click my carry on there. But as you can see, I'm out of energy. So we're not in the best of positions. We have immortals inbound in our base. On our base. To our base. <laughs> Alright. Allies cleaning up the last void rift, as he should. Since I don't have enough energy. <laughs> oh, there are lots of immortals though. I need to help my ally by destroying some of those immortals. So I've whittled them down to two. And I start level 3 energy upgrade so I can get more energy to snipe down the Void Rifts as they spawn. The next ones are here. Snipe that close one. There's a far one you can see. You can see it on the minimap on the far north. So that is a job for my... my rage. <laughs> if I still have it, that is. Do I still have it? No, I don't. That's unfortunate. <laughs> so I'll have to uh, find vision there somehow, but. Yeah, my ally has started sending his infested to that location. See how well that, do see how, see how well that goes. My carrier has destroyed that, uh, destroyed that siege tank, so at least uh, we'll have less of, a, less of an impact. I've started a, a carrier a bit closer. To the action, so that my, uh, so that my carriers. Right, I started a stargate closer to the action, so that so that my stargates, and so that my carriers, have a closer rally. 
Start a couple of pilots there. Oh, the next war drift has already spawned. Okay, that's one's in that's one in range that one's in range of my of my allies' bunkers. That's great. Okay, now I have vision provided by my ally. Was that my ally? Yeah, that was definitely my ally. Okay, now I have a my rage again. Need to take out those uh, immortals. All right. To start more. <laughs> they go down as soon as they spawn them. Dude, these immortals are so t are so hard hitting. Okay, good. We've swarmed the enemy. I use Chrono Boost just so we can get out more carriers. I am getting my units out, so we are slowly getting some more into a more powerful state. I have three carriers with two more inbound. I am pushing them back. Immortals don't shoot up, so my carriers are relatively safe. Ooh, that was rough. I said my my rage up north. Snipe down this uh, void rift. It does get out thanks to my repair beam. Now it's uh, it goes to the next void rift. Just to provide vision and then fly back, fly back to safety. I'll have pure fire beam up. So I can use it either on the next wave or on offense. Wow, you really just let them yeah, we did. Die? What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> it appears the enemy is advancing. Prepare to meet them. Use a purifier beam there to clean up the enemy. The enemy wave that was presenting a, a big challenge to the ally. This immortals hit super hard. Slap down that rift. Slap down that rift. All right, two more carriers are on the way. Right now, I have six carriers, so I'm, uh, yeah, I'm really starting to uh, power up here. Six carriers are no joke. So I start pushing up here. You see, I'm starting to kill them relatively fast. And with my excess minerals, I use my probe to build a, a wall of cannons here. Since that is one of the paths that the enemy will take en route to the bots. Meanwhile, my carriers are pushing the enemy base. And my ally, for some reason, is taking out the enemies on the first bonus area. Not sure why, but I signal my ally that he should be taking care of those, uh, or helping me push the enemy base. So I set my my rage up there to get vision. Good thing I already have cannons in place. So I'll just snipe the void rifts. Another void rift spawns. Another void rift bites the dust. You see, my cannon wall is already uh. Pretty formidable. I use another chrono boost to get myself more carriers. These carriers are awesome. I start level two weapons upgrade, which is actually a bit late, quite late. Carriers benefit greatly from uh, attack upgrades because they have eight interceptors each, and each of those interceptors gets a bonus from. From attack upgrades. Uh, up some hostile forces headed for my bots. They must really want that terrazine. Starting up more stuff. Oh, that one spawned right into, right behind my cannons. This will make it Allied easier for me to uh, destroy those. I use that my ridge to snap to snipe down that void rift. There it is. My carrier force is actually up to 12 now, that's pretty strong. Our allied base is under attack. Our base is under Snipe attack. the immortals. We're still able to destroy a shield battery, that's a bit unfortunate. Really down on this plan. I'm starting to get the stupidating frame rates. 
Uh oh. <laughs> Here come the stuconating frame rates. I, have been working on I mean, I still am getting frames, but they're noticeably they're noticeably less than the ones I normally get. I'll, I'll, I'll use Alexander, but I think I need to clear this out. Use solar lungs to clean that up. And I help out my ally here. Great spawn. Great spawn. It's gonna, it's gonna allow my units to uh, just... Or that's gonna allow my ally to just kill the most of them. There's one up north, but I can snipe that once again. Using my my rage for vision. At this point, no one makes mirages anyway, so I can call them basically anything I want, and will be the official name. <laughs> by virtue of, uh, by virtue of no one else using using them, and nobody else calling them by any other name. I'm actually just supply blocked right now, so I'll need another pylon. Ally was able to clear out the bonus. That's awesome. So I clear these out using orbital strike and my carriers. Under Start another pylon to unsupply block myself. <laughs> there we go. Carrier force is pretty formidable now, up to 14. Now allow me to actually push into the enemy base. And remember, if we're playing Protoss, they have fewer things that shoot up. The only things are uh, phoenixes and void rays. And there aren't a lot of them, so my carriers can rest easy knowing that they can, for the most part, push into the end base. But there's a little, little bit of a problem here. I need to, uh, destroy this. Oh boy, a couple bailings. I just like those. A bit late. But we are able to clear them, I just need to send my probe over to rebuild the pylon. The pylon builds instantly, so... We can, uh, we can resume production as soon as it goes back up. Great job, commanders. My bots are safe and sound. Do you do this sort of thing? We're also? still clearing house. Just a little more terrorism. Tell an ally to clear out that last, uh, that last enemy camp over there. <laughs> Pure fire beam is once again up, and my ally, instead of listening to me, has chosen to clean up that last area. Looks like our warriors. That last first bonus area, for some reason. Snap like that, boy drift. It's like that, boy drift. It's important as Carax to stay on top of the boy drifts. If you're playing Carax, you're gonna have to do active sniping. Upgrade your, upgrade your spear with quickly, and then focus on looking at the minimap, looking for boy drifts, and sniping them down. Uh, if you're playing on low settings. The the uh, the minimap ping for voiders might not be readily visible. So if you want to play this mutation, I recommend the uh, high to ultra texture settings. Just texture. You can keep all the other settings at low. Just just uh, set your texture to ultra or high. That will that will give you the large uh, minimap ping for the void rifts. The only the only resource required for the uh, the high texture is uh, VRAM, so as long as your video card has, uh, what, 4 gigabytes of VRAM? I think you can handle. 3 or 4 gigabytes of VRAM, I think you can handle. Uh, ultra. Ultra texture settings. Clean those. Clean those up. Our base is under Enemy has spawned there. Uh oh, need to clean those up. There we go. <laughs> clean base. Enemy is heading up there, so I need to clean that up. Okay, as soon as, as, soon as, we, as, soon as we get vision, I can snipe those immortals. There we go. Another one here. I use a purifier beam to clean those up. It's, uh, I'm out of energy. <laughs> There's nothing else for me to snipe. Okay, I send it there to the, uh, One of our pylons is the under east. Fire. To clean these. <laughs> okay, it was, it was able to take care of uh, one of the half waves, so that's that's something. Snipe that rift. 
needs to take care of that Reaper. There it is. Down it goes. Ally is the Alexander! To provide vision for me? <laughs> Alright, so as you can see we're camping now, we've full cleared the map and it's a lot easier for us to snipe down the Void Rips as a result. Somehow my probe survived those purification novas. It's still alive! And they maxed out too as Carax! That's awesome! Alright, cleaned up. Oh, misplaced, uh, misplaced Alexander. It didn't land. It should have landed right on top of the troops there. Okay, here comes the last wave. Destroy those. Destroy all of those. Maybe we can lose a single carrier. Nope. <laughs> carrier stands strong. There's a big wave here, though. We can clean that up. Clean up those disruptors. Upgrade complete. <laughs> well, if you want more action, maybe you should be the one playing Carax. <laughs> I never ran out of action uh, playing as Carax because I was actively making units and uh, sniping things with my with my spear of a dune. But there it is, cleaned up the last wave. All we need to do now is wait, wait for this last bot to reach the base. Hmm, nothing to reach here. Other than my, uh, my orbital strike. <laughs> Our allied base is under attack. There we go, there's my Marriage. I cleaned up that last Void Ray too. Or that Void Rift. <laughs> Alright, awesome. and get off this godforsaken rock I'm hope you enjoyed that thank you for watching if you have an idea for it also can do please leave that in the comment and as you can see in the score screen we had basically even kills he had about 22 more but that's not even five that's not even a 10 percent so that yeah it's pretty even he had slightly more by virtue of being stukov the stronger commander uh all right uh, if you want to help support the channel patreon link will be on the top right see you